Rob with my channel Slash Health. This is part two of my vlog of my road trip. I'm here in beautiful Redding, California. And I'm really enjoying it. I like love all the foothills. And uh, Redding is a foothills town. It's right at the base of the mountains. It's, it's, same, same with uh, right, Rica. Right at, right at the base of the mountains. But we have plenty of mountains coming up. So it's definitely something to take note of. So definitely just be showing a uh, the, uh, the landscape for about maybe five, five to ten minutes. Uh, so far I've really enjoyed my road trip. I've uh, made good progress. I believe I left at, uh, I think I left at 11 this morning. And you can see on the clock, it's 3.08. And I'm already almost to the end of California. I've only got like maybe a hundred some miles left. And of course, I'm, I'm going to do a, uh, I'm going to probably do a video on White Rica where I stop at the restaurant where I stop because this is really good. But uh, I enjoy stopping in White Rica because it, it's, it's a mountain town. I really like it. It's small. It's quiet. At least it's small to me. I've, I've always passed through it. I've never, uh, I've never taken the time to explore it. I might, I might take the time just to walk around and just to show the town on video. It's, it's small enough where you can walk from one end of the side of downtown to the other in like 15, 20 minutes. RV park over there. There's the mountains up there. stop at that shell station right there but I just stopped at the TNA a little further back or I'm sorry not not TNA TA truck stop I have no idea what it stands for but uh but it's a, it's a nice little truck stop and uh of course every every TA and flying J they've got they've got like facilities you can like take a shower there you can eat food there they've got restaurants attached to it uh, most people most people stop there just assume you just you know, sleep out, sleep out in your truck, and then use the facilities. And of course, all, all the showers that Flying J's and TA are are private, so it, it's it's worth the pay just to take a private shower. It's much better than the uh, the gym perspective, where you're showering with uh, like like different types, or, or not different types, but showering in a multi multi shower stall where it has multiple shower heads, and you're just there with people. So it's it's a much better perspective at TNA. Or flying jays. That up there. And uh, the majority of this car is all fixed up. It's fixed up enough to do a road trip. Uh, there is a, uh, when I, when I stop in Wairika, there is an oil leak that I noticed, so I'm going to check that when I stop. But, uh, so far the car is doing fine. I, uh, uh, before I left, I put, uh, 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 like stuff in there to gunk up the oil leak so it wouldn't leak. So, so far I just, uh, I just, just uh, just stopped and checked the oil. It's doing fine. I'll, I'll check it again when I get to Wairika. But, uh, we're just, uh, leaving wet losing my words. We're leaving Redding right now. So these are the beautiful mountains. And of course my family will be joining me up in uh, up in uh, Seattle next month, so I wouldn't be away from them for too long. I'm uh, get over here. It's a five-speed car, so I'm slowing down. I was just in fifth gear, that's the cruising gear, but I try to use four and three to go over little hills like this.
that. Northern California is actually really nice. The, the roads are well maintained here. Probably because the weather just beats up the roads really bad. But uh, yeah, Northern California is really nice. Slow it down here. You just want to be careful driving on these mountain roads. Anything could happen, including deers dashing out in front of you. And the speed miles, speed limit miles tend to change consistently. Sometimes there's no sign. Sometimes it's a digital sign. So you just want to slow it down and and uh, go as safe as you can. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, uh, this uh, these uh, these top things never used to be here. So you can see the full lake, but there is a nice lake down there. Well, you guys can see it better. Slow it down here, coming up on a curve. Most of the speed limits that, that are in place on these roads are, are due to extreme rain. So, uh, or just rain that happens, or it could be snow, so you always want to try to obey the speed limits as best as you can. Uh, sometimes there are people who just drive fast just because you just want to either let them go around you or just watch out for them. I have, uh, I have, uh, technician friends that I've worked with in India. And I've talked to them about the speed limits here, and it's hard for them to grasp the concept that the speed limits consistently change on the roads. And I guess in their country, the speed limit is just consistent all the way through. So, uh, so uh, yeah, it's hard for them to comprehend uh, speed limits that change. Uh, railway thing over there. Get over here. Let this truck go by. Uh, my car is a little older. It's a it's a 1.9 liter engine, 98 Corolla, and uh, I mean it, it's suited for driving and for like commuting driving. But uh, driving in mountains, it's not it's not really suited for that. So I. Uh, I had like a new clutch installed and all that stuff before I left so I could, you know, have full power when I go up and over these hills. And so far I've been really impressed with the, uh, with the mileage I'm getting here. Right? From Modesto to Reading, I, I made it there on $15 worth of gas, so it's, it's not bad. The rest stop right there. More mountains. how far I can push fifth gear. Maybe we can make it up this long, long grade of hill. I should be able to. If I just pull down on the pedal. Huh. Alright, I made it up. Uh, one of the things I don't like doing is shifting gears. But, uh, but you have to when you're driving in the mountains. It's just, uh, unless you got an automatic, uh, shifting gears is just a must. Uh, the most powerful gear on this car is gear three, so that'll get me up any hill, really. Uh, most hills. Uh, if it's like, uh, like backwoods, country hills, maybe not. But I've, I've, I've gotten up most hills with gear three or gear one and two. They're the most powerful gears on the car. Oh, 
か。I, uh, I do a lot of hands-free talking with my phone, so I have a uh, I have a Bluetooth speaker right there that allows me to call people and talk to them, and the sound is just fine. I can hear it over the engine just fine. Or people call in and talk to me, and I can speak to them through the speaker. It also, you know, does music and stuff like that. So it's, it's a nice, it was a nice little purchase for twenty dollars. For does a lot for twenty dollars. Got it at Walgreens. Oh, I'm over the 10 minute mark. So with that being said, this is uh, vlog part two of my drive to uh, Seattle. So I'll definitely be checking back in when I get to White Rica. And I'll definitely be doing some walking around uh, just to show you the town and stuff like that. With that being said, see you later, YouTubers. Uh, keep up your fitness and go out and try to see the world.